Hi, this is Dennis DeSantis from Ableton. In this tutorial movie, I'm going to show you how to create a dry, wet balance control on any signal path in Live. This is especially useful for dealing with uh, effects like Live's vinyl distortion effect or the redux effect that don't have dry, wet controls of their own. So to get started, let's listen to uh, some music here. So I have this Vox group track, which I would like to add the vinyl distortion effect and the redux effect too, just to create a, a bit of distortion here. So I'm adjusting the vinyl distortion amount and I'm gonna turn this down to a uh, bit reduction of eight bits. So I like this very crunchy sound, but it's much too aggressive. Uh, I like the, the overall tonal character of it, but I want less of that tonal character. Well, since I don't have dry wet balance controls on these effects, I'm a bit limited at the effect level to what I can do, but I can put these into a uh, put these effects into an audio effect rack by selecting both of them and hitting Control G on Windows or Command G on a Mac, which groups them into their own audio effect rack. So there's one chain here, which we're going to rename to Wet. And now, by opening the uh, context menu via uh, right click on Windows or Control click on a Mac, I'm going to create an additional chain which I'm going to reorder to the top here and call dry. Now, by default, when I launch this uh, track again, the track is just twice as loud because uh, I have the uh, full volume of the dry signal here blended with the full volume of the wet signal. But what we're going to do is create a crossfader within the, uh, within the rack itself. So I'm opening the chain editor and I now have these chain edit zones which I can select via the uh, chain select ruler. So they're both set to zero here, and the chain select ruler is also set to zero. So if I set this ruler anywhere other than zero, we hear no sound at all, because there's no correlation between the chain selector and the zones themselves. But what we want to do is make these uh, zones extend both all the way from zero to 127, and then create fades using the fade zones at the top of the chains themselves. So the, uh, the dry chain, I want to fade out as we move the chain select ruler from 0 to 127. And the wet chain, we want to fade in. So now we should have a basically equal volume contour wherever we are in this chain, uh, wherever we are with the chain select ruler. At zero, we'll have full dry and very little wet. And as we move to the right, we'll have full wet and very little dry. So now we have a dry wet balance control between the two. So I can get this very distorted sound that I want, but just blend a little bit of it in with the dry sound. So let's listen to this with the track soloed now. This is full wet. This is full dry. And this is just a little bit. And I can also map the chain selector here to a uh, macro. So I'm going to go now to the Rack's macro uh, mapping mode. Hit map. Hit the chain select ruler. Press the map button for macro one. Exit the mode. And now I have a knob, which I could easily map to a MIDI controller, for example, which basically works as a dry wet control. So that's a quick tutorial about uh, using the chain selector and blending uh, using the fade ranges in an audio effect rack to create a dry, wet balance control for any signal path in live.